Even though space has been explored for decades now and, and we even had people on the moon, we still have the opportunity to do something new. We have had small satellites for a decade now and we are doing uh, a lot of things which haven't been done before. So we don't have uh, enough footprint to stand on. That sort of uh, gives us this impression that uh, you are actually exploring space yourself now as a pioneer, as the first astronauts uh, did back in the day. As the title suggests, uh, I developed the organization and, and this basically means that I have to make sure that every department uh, uh, efficiently moves the satellite project forward and that we work as, as, as efficiently as, as we are able to. And the other part of my responsibility is to physically develop the uh, offices and the manufacturing sites. As we are growing really fast, we have to expand. So basically, I have to make sure that we have enough place for production and engineering and business development uh, here in Lithuania and worldwide. One interesting project which I'm uh, on right now is, is that uh, there is a new building being built in Lithuania for our Europe branch and we are going to open a totally new office which is even better than the one we have now. The, the most interesting part of, of being in this project is, is that we get to design a, a new office which is much more efficiently planned for the production flow, for engineering, for making the satellites as efficiently as we, are, as we can, as well as uh, actually fun to be in. The pandemic brought additional challenges, obviously, but what we have learned is that with the, the right vision and the right support, you can achieve almost anything. So we have managed to open uh, two new offices in completely different locations worldwide, uh, almost remotely. Uh, and the bigger ch challenge, uh, for example, in, in the UK office turned out to be not to build the actual clean room, but to make sure that we have a coffee machine for the employees in, in the UK. The biggest challenge for, for me uh, personally is to make sure uh, we adapt to the current situation. Nanoavionics, as, as other uh, fast-growing companies, uh, we are in a sort of uh, simulated evolution, uh, but this is a very fast-paced evolution. We, we evolve every month, even every day. Uh, so the biggest challenge for this year is to improve the cooperation between uh, different branches of nanoavionics. So that's uh, nanoavionics US, UK and Europe. Uh, and of course, to make sure that we have enough headspace for expansion, both in the physical world and production and engineering, as well as, as, as the process and efficiency world. I see Nanoavionics as, as a pioneer in new space uh, biz business, as, as we have to take the best practices, uh, as, as was discovered by the old space companies, by the big governmental institutions, uh, and we have to adapt these to our uh, current business model, which uh, focuses on, on, on quality as well as, as cost efficiency and, and uh, much, much faster project life cycles. My idea of, of adapting is to, is to basically uh, get to know what the people are doing on a daily basis. Uh, and usually you will see that, that people, that smart people you are working with, with are already uh, doing a lot of things. Maybe you just didn't know about or maybe they don't keep uh, records of, of, of that. So the way to, to implement any process is to basically take what people are doing now, improve that, write that down, document it, inform everybody, and then you will have a, a very well-oiled process with minimal improvements and it will be built by, by the people who are actually doing the work in, instead of the other way around. During my spare time, uh, besides transferring my uh, passion of Airsoft to the virtual world, I also like to write. Every writer needs to read as well. And, and a couple of really good books I have read uh, very recently were Olga Tokarczuk's uh, Flights and Albert Camus' uh, The Plague, which is incidentally very relevant now.